So, Senator Sanders, you're going to run for president. I am going to run for president. That's correct. What's going to be different this time? We're going to win. Are you, are you feeling the burn? Yesterday, Vermont Senator and DSA top boy Bernie Sanders announced that he is officially running for president in the 2020 primaries. Which means that now, legally, you've got a drink a shot every time Trump tweets the word Venezuela. With 10 US politicians having announced their intention to run as the Democrat nominee, a few more in the exploratory committee stage, and about a million of them rumored to throw their hat in the ring, you might be wondering what is so special about an old fuzzy haired white dude who looks a lot like Larry David. Since losing the 2016 nomination to Hillary Clinton in what was widely considered a DNC stitch-up, Bernie Sanders has done more than anyone to normalise left-wing politics in a country where letting sick people die in the street is considered a protection of freedom and the continuing existence of Guantanamo Bay is A-OK. -okay. Look at it this way. In 2008, not a one Democrat candidate endorsed single-payer healthcare. 18 months ago, Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All bill was co-sponsored by several other presidential candidates, including Cory Brooker, Kamala Harris, and Elizabeth Warren. Along with New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Bernie Sanders has been instrumental in popularizing the idea of a Green New Deal, a federally funded intervention into decarbonizing the economy and creating millions of new jobs through a public works program. Sanders backs free college tuition and breaking up the biggest Wall Street banks. And what's more, he seems to have sharpened his anti-racist critique of the criminal justice system since his public excoriation by Black Lives Matter four years ago. Since 2018, he's been advocating legislation to end cash bail, to legalise weed and to make it a statutory obligation for deaths in police custody to be federally investigated. Famously, Sanders polled very well in the same Rust Belt states that Hillary Clinton flopped in 2016. In response, Trump has ratcheted up his Red Scare rhetoric, and I for one am very much looking forward to the collective soiling of pants that's to come in the GOP. So, lads, tag an American, socialism is trending.